good everyone my name is graphics today we want to solve another exercise on development where we are going to be analyzing this figure here now if you look at this figure this is an hexagon right the plan this is the plan and this is what this is the elevation so whenever you have the plan on the elevation means that it's in the world is in third angle projection. Now we want to develop this elevation here. So the first thing you have to do is to redraw this figure so that you'll be able to what develop it. So I'll start by redrawing it. And the key word about development is that when you are when you are drawing, always start with what? The plan. So I'm going to draw the plan and if you look at what I have here, it says the hexagon here is 45 millimeter across flat right so i'm going to draw 45 millimeter across flat. so i'll draw my circle diameter should be what 45 so i'm going to draw a line like this i'll draw um an horizontal line this way right and i'm also going to draw a vertical line this way now drain it I have gotten a center this is my center here so I'm going to measure half of 45 which will be 24.5 so I'm going to take my meter rule and I'm going to measure 24.5 now using this if I place it this way I'm starting from 1 so meaning my 1 is 0 so from 1 which is 0 this is 10 this is 20 so I'm talking about 24.5 somewhere around here right so in doing that I'll place it at the center here and I'll draw my circle so let me bring it down a little bit you see what I'm talking about so place it here and I'm going to draw a faint line to represent my circle now in doing that in doing that I will now take my C square of 60 degree right I'm going to move it on my my T square I'll move it on my T square until I get a point where it can be tangential and I'll draw a faint line this way. You can see that. I'll move to the other part also. I'll move to the other part too. To the top and ensure it is tangential. Look at it very well. It will be tangential to that point. Now I'll have this also. So, I'm going to turn my set square to the other way, like this. This is the direction. And I'll repeat the same fit. I'll move it until it's tangential to the circle here. I'm going to draw this. And I'm going to move this also to the top here. And ensure it's tangential to the circle. Now, I'm drawing this. I will move my T square to the base and I'm going to tick in this. I'll move it to the other part too also. I'm going to tick in this. So I'll tick in the rest. To tick in the rest, I'll have this this way. So I'll be having this. I have successfully drawn my hexagon across flat if you look very well the sides of the hexagon is touching the circumference of the circle that we will call it across flat now the next thing we'll be drawing here will be the elevation now i'm going to project all these points i'll project them down like this place my t my set square on my t square 
and all the edges I project them down using faint line I call it my radial line to the next point also to the next one too and to the next point too now this is what I have right so if you look at this very well we are told that we we'll pick any point far away from the distance from the plan so that it will not touch each other so I should just take maybe a very close part here let me say take here so use my faint line to draw that so I'm picking this point this point here is uh, this point somewhere around here right so if you look at it you say it is inclined at what 30 degree if you look at what is there it is inclined at where 30 degree at this point here so I'm going to do that with my share square and um, I'll place it here I'll place it at this point which is this point here right now move it to that point it should be at 30 degrees when it's standing here this is 60 when it's sitting this way this is a uh, 30 degree so I'm going to take it to that point here from here I will draw my tip line to touch here can you see that now if you look at it very well from my diagram here we are told that from this top to the next point where I will draw my line again is what is 76 so I'm going to measure 76 from this point here so I measure 76 from here since I'm starting from 1 so from 1 to 86 is 76 are you now? So this is 10 from 1 to 2 is 10 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 5, 76 now I'm going to do the same thing. If you look at our diagram again, we are told it again is another word, 30 degree. So I'll slide it down this way on my T square. Alright, I see that. And I'm going to draw another one. Now if you look at this very well. having this so I'll join these two points together right and if you look at it very well also we have a line this way that is from this point which is this point that is drawn so I'm going to project that line with the same 30 degree from this point to touch here right so I will close it up so what am I doing I'm only replicating what I have there right and if you look at this closely there is a line drawn in between which is this center line here this corners so I'm going to draw this from this point to the next one also to that point so I have successfully replicated this diagram here so the next thing for me to do is to project it so I'm going to project it with my um, T square. I'll draw a line, a straight line from this point to the next point also. To the next point also. To 
the rest going to all the corners all the corners right all the corners Now, I'm going to just take a little distance, maybe 5 millimeter away from the main structure. So let me just measure maybe 5 or any chance of the chest, depending on your space you have. So I'll just draw a line, a front line this way, away from the main diagram. So that will be my starting point. Zero. Right? Let me see, that's this point. O. Zero. Two. Let's say this is zero. This is one, this is two, this is three, this is two, this is one, and back to zero. So I'll start. I'll take the distance between zero and one or any of these points. So if I take this and here, right? So I'll come to zero, I'll mark from zero. This is one, this is uh, two. This is three. This is three. Zero, one, two, three. Coming back again. Two, one. Then what? Zero. So we have um, zero, one, two, three, two, one. Then zero. And I'm going to project this line up. So projecting this line up, I'll be having this, this way, and also this way, from here also, I'll do this also, from here too, I'll do the same thing here too, and here also, and here also. So, I'm holding that. Now, the next thing I'll do is this uh, thickness we have here, here to here. Trace this radial line from here. This is my first point. So, I'll take here and here, like this. Right? And I'll mark it. The next point is this. I'll mark it. The next point is this. I'll mark it. The next point is this guy here, and I'll mark it. So I'll start coming down the same way too. Come down the same way too. And I'll come down the same way too. Right? So I'm going to join this point. Here also, I'll do the same thing. Now, if you join all these dots together, since it's hexagon, you use a straight line, you'll be having something like this. So we're having this, right? Now the next thing is, you do the same thing. Trace this point to this point. The next point to this point. The next point to this point, right? And you join them together also. So we're having this, like this, and this. And this also, right? So this is what we're having. Now for this particular one that we draw, if you trace it from here, is that you join these two points. Because this point here is traced to this point here. So you're just going to join here to here. And you have this. Now the next thing is, if you look at the next point, you draw a line from this point to meet the topmost point here, which is this point here. I can trace this line to this point. And I'm going to be having something like this to that point here. I'm 
right now you start moving them from this point the next point is this the next point is this all right so this will be the next point so i'm going to join them together so i'm joining them i'll have this Have this and I'll have this. So this is a development that we're having. In most cases, sometimes you can proceed and join them, but for today, this is what we'll be having. So if you find this video helpful, don't forget to click on the subscribe button. And also don't forget to give out your dimension just as in the equation this is given here so dimension it just the way you see it here so thanks for watching